In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on working with video that was shot handheld and is somewhat shaky. No matter how hard the videographer tries, you're going to see some problems with that. We'll show you how to clean that up. And then when I was creating this, there was a couple other things I did at the video you see on the screen. I worked to modify the colors, and I'm going to show you the tricks I used with that. And then I also used a motion graphic title and made it do something it wasn't designed to do. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's look first of all at the big thing that drew me to this video, which was it's slightly shaky. I'm going to play it and you're going to see that despite the best efforts of a videographer, there was still a little bit of shake because it was a handheld setting. And so as they're looking at the locks on the fence, uh, there's a little bit of movement that's shaky. Now I'm going to show you what it looked like when we finished the project. The shake will be gone, the color will be different, and we've added a motion graphic title and music. Big difference from beginning to end. So let's deal with these three issues one at a time. First of all, we need to get the shakiness out of the video clip. How do we do that? First of all, I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to click on the Edit button above the timeline. I want to be under Video Editing, and I want to be in my Tools menu. And then I click on Video Stabilizer. Now I can control the correction level. I'm just going to leave it at the default of 50. There's a rotational camera shake. I can click on or off, but there's also an enhanced stabilizer. But let me show you something that happens with that. I'm going to click on the little information circle, and I have this message pop up. It tells me it can help, but there's an issue. It requires a lot of computing power, so it's recommended that you switch to non-real-time preview or that you render this on the range. What will happen will be you'll get some stuttering when you're trying to edit it on the screen that you won't have in the final project. It's a little bit disconcerting. So when I turn on the Enhanced mm -hmm. Editor, I'm going to click on Close here. I need to render it. Now I've rendered this so it automatically remembers that it was rendered. But the way to render the clip is you click on it and then I'm going to select it as a range. And then I click on this little circle here with the dots around it. And that will render that segment and I'll get a message. And then when it's done rendering, I'll see the green line above it. Now I didn't want to start the entire project all over again, so the green line popped up right away. But you would have an extra screen that you would see. So now it means it's rendered. So now when I'm looking at it as an editor, I won't see jerkiness but I will see the vast improvement from what it was when it was shot to what it looks like now. And you notice that's not too bad at all. Very good, in fact. Okay, so we've got one issue taken care of. Let's look at another issue. The second issue I want to deal with is color because it's really kind of bland. So I'm going to use a LUT. So I highlight the clip again. I'm going to close the window here. And then I want to click on my Effects option, the fourth icon from the left. And I want to go to my Filters and LUTs. In this case, I, I've already decided which LUT I want to use. I want to use one that's called Outdoor Warm. And I'll drag down here. I've got Outdoor Warm 3. This one here is one of my favorites. I'm going to take and drag it draw, and drop it on the clip. Instantly, things changed wildly. So now I've got lots of color. It's kind of a straw texture. It's obviously fall. I really like the way it did that. Now, if you want to remove a LUT, all you have to do is click on the eye and, and then click on a Filters and Outdoor Warm. And then you can have that highlighted and you can click the garbage can and it goes away. The other thing you can do is you can drag that LUT back on again. 
and then you can click on that same tool and you can control the strength of the LUT. Maybe that's overdoing it a bit, so I can dial it back a little bit more or all the way back to the original. So you can adjust the strength of the LUT by using the slider right there. And so I've modified it. Maybe that's all I want right there. And so I'm good with that. So now I have my LUT applied, but there's something else I want to do. I'm going to highlight it again, click on Edit, and I want to click on the Color tab instead this time. And I'd like the locks to stand out a little better, so I'm going to increase the sharpness just a little bit. And they stand out a little better against it. And so does the, the texture of the grass behind there. So I, that's a little more what I want. So I'm happy with that. And we'll, we'll move on from there. The next thing I want to do is I want to use a motion graphic title. I'm going to close this window again. And I go to my title room. And in this case, I have my subcategories. I'm clicking on the Love category. And I want to do Love 06, which is the one I used before. And I'll take and drag it down. Okay, there's my, there's my title. I need to change it. So it's motion graphics. So I highlight that. And we'll click on Edit. And I'm going to change You're the only one. I'm going to change it to The Place. So I'm just going to highlight the first line. And we'll take the second line and drag across that. Make it small. And we'll do the last one. And we'll do Memories. And that's pretty good. Now I want to change some coloring. Let's take the color at the top and bottom. That's the graphic group. And let's change that one to kind of a darker blue. That looks good. I want to see what I used before here. It looks like, uh, oh, that was, the text was blue and the, the, the other element was red. But I'm going to go back here and make this red then. And then we'll make the text blue. Click on the text, and we'll turn it to a blue. Now I want to change the location and the size, so I'll just move it like this. And then when we play this, you see it pops on, and we have it there. Now, it doesn't move across the screen, because it's a motion graphic title. What can I do to change that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily take track number one and make it invisible. Now I'm going to click here and I'll do Control P. That will create a screenshot. We'll just call this Junk 3. Okay, so now I'm going to, so now I have a picture of that frame. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back into my media room. I have my junk three here. I'm going to drag it down. And now what I need to do so that I don't, it, the black is something I see. I'm going to turn the background back on. I'm going to click on this. Now this is actually a photograph. I'll click on Edit. I'll go to my Tools. I'll go to Chroma Key. And I'm just going to key out the black. That's the black. Click here. There. Okay, so there. Now I have it clicked out. So now it actually will be like that. Now I can keyframe the 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 copy that we see here. I'll click on OK. And I want it to go all the way to the end. So I'm going to make it longer. I'll do a trim only. OK. And now I want to edit the picture of the last, uh, nearly the last frame. I'll click on Edit. Advanced. And now I want to start with the, the play at the front 
of my image. And we'll do a position and scale. And then we'll go near the end. And then I'll drag it over. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And maybe I want it to stop right before the post. Click on OK. And so now when we play that with the title on there, we'll have the motion graphic title. And then it will, it will switch. It will come on. Now here I would need to render it again because um, you have that stuttering. But it crawls across the fence line and then it stops. But it gives you a, an interesting way to take something that is jerky and dull and not very effective and turn it into something that's much more attractive. Again, when we finished, this is the kind of result that we had.